Hi, I'm Jenny with Show Me Cute, and I have um, the perfect wall um, to show you how to do a painted frame. I've had a lot of um, people ask me how I did this in one of my daughter's bedrooms, and today I'm going to show you. And so, right here, I have a chalkboard that I'm going to hang, and I'm going to do a six inch frame around it. So, basically, what I did was started with my T square and I figured it out where I wanted the chalkboard and then I traced around the outside of the chalkboard. And so then, from there, I'm going to take my T-square, well, I, actually you could use, um, I find this the easiest if you're gonna be starting from the ceiling or anything like that. And I wanna do a six inch frame, so I'm just gonna measure over six inches and every so often, actually, I don't even have to do that. This is the beauty of the T-square. So what I'm going to do is put that up there. And because I'm lining that top part up, if I can find my mark, there it is. Then you don't have to make as many marks on the wall. And um, I have also found that um, using pencil on here, you, if you make mistakes, you can erase generally. Just make your pencil marks a little bit light, but I'm trying to make mine a little bit darker for you so that you can try and see. So what I'm gonna do is finish um, scaling this out and I'm going to um, draw a box six inches all the way around and I'm going to start painting and when I start that I will come back and show you how to do it. I have painted this much of my frame and a couple things I want to point out. This is just a first coat, so it looks kind of streaky right now. The paint isn't thick enough to do it in just one coat. And you will also notice that I didn't have to really pay attention to my inner line because there's something just going to go on top of that. So that part doesn't really matter. But I left one little section up here to um, demonstrate doing the outside edge for you so that you could get an idea of how I do it. Okay, I'm gonna, again, I've um, showed this technique a few times, but I have this wide brush. I'm gonna turn it up and down, and I'm gonna use my little pinky here as a anchor. And I'm just gonna take it up and down. This way I have control of where my bristles are going. And then I'm gonna go back and fill in. If you are not comfortable doing it that way, you can tape it off with some painter's tape. So if you're a good, uh, have a good steady hand and you're used to edging, um, it doesn't have to be super, super perfect because we are going to outline it in Sharpie as well with a ruler. So just as long as it's pretty well straight. much there. The first couple of stages of this, it can look kind of scary and you think, holy crap, this is not going to look very good. <laughs> but it does in the end. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry for a little bit and go ahead and back and put on a second coat and then I'll show you the next step in our process.
have finished painting um, two good coats on this frame. And uh, because I'm going to distress this, I'm not going to put on a third coat. But if I were to just leave a solid white frame, and some of you may want to do that, you may not want the distressing effect, I would put another coat on it until it was nice and solid. So if that's the kind of frame that you would like, then you would be finished at this point except for your outlining. And this is gonna go um, next in our process for the distressing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ruler and all around the entire frame, I'm going to outline. Crazy, you might think? Yes, that sounds a little crazy, but it's not. So, I'm going to go around and outline the whole thing as well as the inside because that's going to tell me where I'm going to hang. And I can still see, this is not a very good Sharpie, I'm going to have to go get another one, but um, that will be able to tell you where you're going to hang your picture or in my case my chalkboard so i'm going to go grab another sharpie do all my outlining and uh, show you the next step all right i finished outlining and if you just want a solid frame you're done if you want a distressed frame, this is our next step. We want to make this appear as if it is a picture frame. And so picture frames are pieced together at an angle on all of your corners. And so before I start distressing, or I mean start with the, uh, the painting process, I'm going to draw the lines that are going to help with my illusion. And so at each of the four corners, I'm going to put an angle line from corner to corner. Okay? Okay, I have all four corners with my marked edge. And the next thing we're gonna do, um, to give you a better idea, I'm gonna show you right here on my cabinets that are right here next to this wall. It has this trim on the cabinet which you can see the ridges and the lines of this very similar to what picture frames have and we're going to try and create that illusion which is a three-dimensional on here but be with this being a flat surface we're going to create that illusion and so the first step in that process is to draw lines and give us our molding so what i've done is drawn a line at two and three and a half. My frame is six inches. So um, that's just what I picked. It really doesn't matter how many lines. I probably wouldn't do more than two in this width. So I'm gonna draw the lines starting from the, measuring from the inside all the way around, going out two and three and a half and draw those lines in Sharpie as well before we move on. <laughs> To the final process of this and I have to tell you that uh, this is not your easy project if I had to rate this on a scale of easy to difficult I will definitely say that this is a difficult project 
but I don't want to deter you from trying it. So, um, the first step is going to be, I have a palette of a whole bunch of different colors here, and I have um, a towel here that has a little bit of wet to it. It's a really nice paper towel. I think it's the Bounty brand. Um, you can also use a um, old dishcloth or something that um, you don't care if it gets yucky. So the first part we're going to do, I did the the dark to the un, or to the inside of each of the black lines. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to go down with the black. I'm trying not to get outside the lines, but I can go back and fix that with a wet washcloth. So... Okay, now I'm going to take my brown. This is a wet paper towel again that I have uh, squoze, squeezed, squoze, gotten rid of the water or moisture in it. And then I'm going to go back with the brown. And this is um, acting as our staining agent. And we're going to rub that all on there. I guess you could use stain, but then you wouldn't be able to get it off your wall very easily. So we're just going to use acrylic paints. And the lovely thing about this kind of paint is you can sand it and paint right over it with your wall paint again when you're ready. So I'm going to take this and I'm just, there really is no right or wrong with it. You mess with it until you get it to where you want it to be. As cruddy as you want it to look or as simple as you want it to look. You could just take some of the light brown and water it down and be good with that. Um, I'm going to get some more of the brown on there and go to my next stripe. Okay, now with my wet rag, I'm going to start blending some of this and even rubbing some away. And this is where a totally dry cloth is going to come in as well. It's going to look as if I sanded it with some sandpaper and it was really roughed up. You can see that even with some of my, you can see right here with su such thick layers of it, I'm even getting a little bit of a crackle look right there, which I love. Get some in there. I think I need a little more black still up in here, so I'm going to take my rag. Add a little bit more back into it. I'm still not getting enough on my rag. There we go. And make it come down and come out. But I'm creating that line there. I know this is going to be an extensive video, but I just don't know how else to show it in a short time frame so this will be a little bit longer than normal okay now i need to go back to my wet rag
Hope that sound isn't bothering anyone. I'm sorry. I think I need a little bit more water. This one's a little wetter. You probably want to have several rags with you. Dry ones, wet ones, a little bit of everything. And you'll be able to feel in your hands as you go. Let it just kind of speak to you. I need a little more black back in there. And this is turning out a little more cream right here, which is what I like. And I gotta work on this corner. I'm gonna sand a little bit of this off. Getting it wet and then using the dry back over it gives me this sandy look like that. So you can try all kinds of things. Um, okay, the only thing that I wanted to fix was a little bit right here. So let me fix that up and then I think we are ready for our chalkboard. A little, I erased a little bit too much black right there. I've used black, brown, and white. There we go. I'm gonna let that sit there for a minute while I go get my chalkboard and finish that corner up and you'll be able to see the end. But basically this is the, the look that I was going for. If you look at um, the one in my college girl um, bedroom, her frame is exactly like this, except that we started with blue on the bottom. And we used uh, gray in the darker colors, kind of blacks and grays, and then whites for a little bit of the highlight on there. So that can kind of give you an idea. I'm gonna go get my chalkboard and hang that up, and then we'll be all finished with this longer project. Hi, we're all finished, or I'm all finished. <sighs> and um, I hung up my chalkboard with uh, the Velcro 3M picture hangers. I put those, that's nice and sturdy. And my chalkboard has to cure for 24 hours, so that's why I don't have anything written on there in my chalk. But I put a little note on that, which it can double as that as well. So um, just as a reminder, I, I want you to know that this is not an easy project, um, but you can stop it at the first starting point and just make it a solid frame. So um, for any questions you might have or further pictures, you can go to showmecute.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check back later for an easier idea.